Let me share my reflection from the Gospel according to Mark chapter 8 verses 34 to chapter 9 verse 1. I was struck by verse 35 when Jesus said, For whoever save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. Do you save? So what do you uh, actually do when you save? Uh, well, we can say that when we save our money, uh, we spend less now so that we can live a lifestyle we want in the future. Or when we save on gas, we do not make unnecessary trips today so that we can make a longer trip in the future. When we save our breath now, we do not talk uh, so that we can talk more later. So what we are actually doing is foregoing the opportunity to use our resources now for a future benefit. That's what we do when we save. In the gospel, Jesus said that if we save our life, we will lose it. But if we lose our life for his sake and the gospels, we will save it. Mm, does, does it look like a reverse <laughs> of the savings concept? Well, we actually cannot save something that we do not own we cannot say to our neighbor like okay i will save your money today so that i have money in the future we cannot do that right we cannot save our life because our life belongs to god if we do not live our life for god now we will not have a life in the future i believe jesus is reminding us of what our life is supposed to be we were created for god we ought to live for God. Our life is for God. We belong to God and not our own. We, we ought to lose our life now. That is, not live our life as our own, but live our life for God and the gospel. Only when we live our life for God today will we have a future life with Him in heaven. Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. Be the driver of my life. Give me the grace to live my life, not as my own, but to live as you did, loving God and loving my neighbors as myself, that I may also gain everlasting life with you. Amen.